Happy New Year! That's the New Year song. It's Our done. New Year song sucks, but that's the New Year song. Monkey, <laughs> monkey ear. Guess, we, guess what year I was born? In? What year? Monkey. That's straight. My I'm ear. the dragon. No, I'm not. I think I'm near the ox or something stupid like that. You're probably pig. I want a fucking no. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how we start off the new year. And anyway, this year we're gonna start off with this episode. We're gonna start off with. We'll a, a not lot. start off with. This is our technically second episode. And we'll tell y'all more about that right after this. But we got all that more right here on Fanatics. Fanatics. Do 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 do. Happy New Year. Happy New year. I can't. 2016. 2016. 2016, dude. That's some that's some sci-fi number. Can you think about when you're a, you're a little kid, you're like, I'm gonna be an adult in 2016. No, I just wanna talk about how millennium 2000, I'm like, oh my god, we're all gonna die. Right, 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 right. 16 years right, right, ago. Right, right, right. What we the already hell? passed. No, well, I think they say every time that was a slight millennium change, uh -huh. that was doom and gloom. Always happen, you know, when turn to be, you know, the 1900s or the 1800s. I don't care about those guys. All I'm saying is that, like, <laughs> it didn't happen. 16 years later, we still here. We're going strong, and we back here for you. Yep, we back here. So, did you have a good New Year's Eve? Uh, I did. Did you all? Did you have a good Christmas uh, New Year? I had. I had no, surgery. Did not. So, I had a good time. My family was there. You so got which cut was cool. up. I got cut up. So if I'm not, I'm moving kind of robotic like. Even though I do pop all the time, I'm good like that. It's because he's not I, himself. I, I had surgery, so I'm not really supposed to be up here. But I do this for the love that I got for everybody out there, so I'm doing yep. it anyway. This is our first, well, technically not the first episode. Right, we right, right. We shot another one. Right. But our audio was all messed up. So Because we got gremlins in our house, <laughs> and gremlins is named Gochu that fuck ups the audio. So here we go again. Yep. So, I mean, we might post up the, the first one. We may, Maybe, we may. We might, we might not. So, but. So, since we're back in the new year, let's talk about what 2015 was last year, what we like and didn't like about last all right. year. So what, what should we start you, with? Let's start off what you didn't like about what did 2015. It? Okay, let's all uh, age before beauty. No, all right. Well, I'm all, I'm beauty and age, so I'll go first. <laughs> what I didn't like for 2015 it was this thing of gaming, of releasing so many damn DLCs, or, or releasing games half finished, and then releasing the DLC later on that should have been part of the game yes. to begin with. And all the microtransition stuff, remember? Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that money they're trying to milk uh, it. When back in the days, you just release a game, and there you go. And then yep. if you, they had extra content, they just for extra content. Yep. They would say it was like a, a, a cool thing that they would give you later on. Or if it was enough content, then you would pay for this big old content later on. Not how you gonna could do day one DLCs. Yes. And so many DLCs where it's just little, little, small little yeah, things yeah, that they yeah. make you buy all of them. Day one and day one DLCs was my ultimate, was my two, was a dual pet peeve. And uh, games that should have a fucking single player, but it's multiplayer only games. That fucking just Well, no, I mean, if it's hell. only gonna be multiplayer, I don't think it should be a full price. Exactly. Don't give me $60, have to charge me $60, or well, they can give it to me. Don't charge me $60 and it's only multiplayer. Yeah. Because it should I have be. Issues with that. It's dog, dog. No, okay. I, I can go on yeah. and on. What is your pet peeve about 2015? Uh, mine, the, the one that. I, I had to think about it a lot too, but right. to me, it was uh, MotoGP, how MotoGP ended. As you guys know, I love motorcycle and... Everybody on planet Earth knows that he loves motorcycle. <laughs> Valentino Rossi lost his championship because of all the incidents. I'm not going to say names, but it just really pissed me off the way how it ended. Okay. Like, like the last race, they could have let him just race and just have a very cool ending. But right, but it didn't happen like that. No, they put him all the way in the back and said, fuck it. And you know, it was almost impossible. He still came a lot towards the and, front pack. And all the MotoGP yeah. people out there right now go on. No. Amen, brother. Gotcha. All right, so now we talked about what we didn't like about 2015. What did you like about 2015? Give me one thing, one quick thing you love about 2015. Pretty girls. Well, that's that's for any age. My one thing, I guess I go back Horns again. Horns with better storyline. This <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> My... <laughs> My one thing yeah, I think I love, what gets, it goes back to, I guess, the gaming thing again, since we're talking a about me. A lot of good games. We had a lot of great games come out. A lot you know, of good Witcher movies. 3, Fallout 4, a lot of good movies. We had Star Wars come out. We, we, had, we had gaming and Star Wars in the same year. I was... Yeah. Bow down to yeah. my universe. It's, it was Bow great, down to my universe. Great year for cars, you know, games, all that Punani. stuff. Punani. <laughs> movies. So yeah, to me overall, it was a great year. We're back. 
2016 Detroit Auto Show. We're talking about Detroit Auto Show because that's what happened this week. So that means we're talking about cars because we said Auto Show, which is... Auto Show. So Your favorite. My favorite is a couple of cars. First is the Infiniti Q60 Coupe. Which is bomb. It looks really good. I mean, the interior is kind of... I don't really like that double dual screen and all that stuff, but... But see, I, you, the more screens you put in, I'm cool with that. No, just like, just like that Mercedes, the Mercedes comp, that concept one, the self-driver, that the screens is all uh, the roof and everything. No, no, no. For me, you can put more screens. You can put computer and Androids in there. I'm cool with it. I'm more towards like the Audi, what they're doing with Audi. It's more about the driver focus. Right, like right. Everything in driver. That's cool. But anyway. It could be driver focus. Okay, let's go yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep on going on. But yeah, I like the Q60 Coupe. The back looks really nice. The front, I got to see it in person. A little bit in. Eh. The other one is Lexus LC500. Right. It's expensive. Yeah. It's gonna be over $100,000. What the hell? Not on a Lexus. Yeah. That, that means you give me a. But it's me. beautiful car. Beautiful you car. Admit it's but a the price. Car. Yeah, the price is. No, no way. Drop it a little bit. Come down to earth, please. Yeah. If I want that price, yeah. I'm gonna go get me a Maybach or something like that. It's getting so close. Much. It's gonna maybe that's a three. I mean, you, you Lexus shouldn't be going over a hundred thousand for a Lexus. Well, no. I mean, LFA was three hundred fifty. And it, that said the same argument for that car too. Well, that was a great car, but yeah, I don't think that was worth three hundred fifty. No, but no. anyway, that's just us. My car was the Buick. Buick has come yes, with it. Yes. I'm old. Um, oh. It's the uh, Avista, right? Uh, yeah, Buick Avista. Avista. It, That's it a looks bomb-ass cool, car. Yeah. It's a that car. Door. Yes, it's a two-door coupe, but it's a full-size coupe. It's not one of those small baby coupe. Coupe. Cute. 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 That's what they. That's a new. That's a new category. Cute coupe. They call it now. That that new small Jeep. That's called a cute 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 coupe. Anyway, sorry that's guys. She's still taking a you know no, no, no. medipick. Anyway, he know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So the Buick one. The Buick Avista and I like the, the Nissan Titan. Titan the, the truck. Yes. Too, about, too many plastics around. It's a lot of stuff, but I think they try to, you know, sometimes when they try to stand out from the pack Man, and they try, they try to stand much. out from the F-150, they try to, you know, make you notice me, notice me, notice I, me. That's what he likes. Look at me kind of deal. I, I'm, so, I, I'm a, but I also like the, the Genesis G90. Yeah, that's another great move by Hyundai. I know a lot of people hate on Hyundai, but now they have their sub brand which is called Genesis now. Just like Lexus is right. Toyota's right. premium brand, you know, Infiniti, Acura. So Hyundai's like, F it. Right. We're gonna make one too. So the my commercial for Genesis, if you wanna be pimping, get the Genesis G90. Brothers, and you, to Hyundai. And you gotta yeah. whisper it to Genesis G90. That car is banging. It looks pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of people car. are saying hating on it, but you know what? I think it's a pretty good car. I think a lot car. of people who are hating on Hyundai because they talk about Hyundai from the 90s, not Hyundai of today. Hyundai that grabbed everybody from all these other big, nice car companies mm -hmm. and grabbed those designers yeah. and brought it in there. So you can't just attach what they used to be to what they are today. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, they, they took all these elements from different cars. But I'm like, nowadays, all the everybody. cars look the same. Everybody does that. And they get influenced from each other all the time. So let's I, I like that I like that Lincoln is now changing up their front finally they they drop in that double that little is, thing yeah, yeah. you know because I've always loved Lincoln from the back and then they turn around the front it's that little I'm like oh but now they are getting rid of that bullshit making, yeah, you know so, better, so. so check out 2016 Detroit Auto Show we're back, back again with some more good shit that we love a lot of technical stuff um, te te technical technical <laughs> a lot of tech stuff that's not like my mom here. That's a lot, a lot of technical, of technical. stuff you gotta go over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna take we had 2016 CES. CES. So it we have CES in, and auto show yes, going sir. on. It 2016. Happened, it's um, we only need 10 days. What, what, 16 days, 13 days into it already? Right now, yeah, as of today, it's I just went days. to the future real yeah. fast. But <laughs> really quick. I just came back. But yeah, this uh, last weekend, CES happened in uh, Vegas. Vegas, it always happens every year. Yep. I was there actually last weekend. Not for CES, for Oyster Bar. It was not Side yet. story. That's a whole nother conversation. If you want to try a really good oyster bar place, go to uh, that's Palace Station in when Vegas. When you want some oysters, that's what you do. You drive to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, the oysters you know place. I'm hungry. <laughs> what the fuck? Are, I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> no, no, they have a really good... Uh, uh, anyway, that's a whole yeah, other story. That's another story. What 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 did you like about the CS that was going on? What Even was though there was a lot of uh, car tech stuff right. and a lot of drone stuff, right. but for me, I 
it, it's still the TV for me. Right. The whole 8K, the LG, uh, right. the roll-up screen. Even now. though you love, even though the 8Ks look bomb, and we don't even really have 4K penetration really yet, but let's go ahead and jump hey. for 8K. <laughs> Get the better number, right? Better. <laughs> because higher number you have, better because you have so much 8K content <laughs> that you can play right yeah. now. I actually have an 8K TV at home, and then <laughs> there's nothing to watch. You got a 4K, uh, 4K TV. 4K, not 8K, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to your house right now to see this 8K TV. <laughs> no, 4K, sorry. Well, yeah, so um, the TV, just how thin they're becoming. Yes. And now they're like being smart. Like the whole TV screen is just a TV screen and the, the actual, the brain of the box is actually on its own. Well, so, for now, on, our children, whenever we all have children, their TVs of their lives is going to be nothing but they just can put it on a frame on the wall and that's yeah. it. Yeah. It, and gonna, it's going to be like it's gonna be wireless and all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's how thin they're becoming, how clear the screens are becoming. I think if you sum up the CES was the CES was TVs, um, security, auto products, and VR and drones. And drones, yeah. That was the, that <laughs> was about the it. CES. That's what... <laughs> that was the CES. And yeah, I mean the drone stuff. I'm not really into drones. Yes, so... because they had a drone that a person can get inside yeah, of. Yeah, and it that's flies that we had for a year, a long time ago. That's called helicopters <laughs> and stuff. You can get inside of that drone too in a propeller. Well, but that one is like you're on your own. And yeah, and it goes like in, it goes on autopilot too. And, okay. So, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> but drone, I just I don't know. Drone never interests me that much. Yeah, I think me was two folds. What I loved about this year is I love that Razer's new thin laptop that has the new extra Internal graphic GPU enclosure. See, but yeah, when the GPU's that. outside, it, it, I mean, we, we had this whole debate too. We did. Like we did. The data transfer and how fast it's actually. And I to think keep now up. data transfer over the USB 3.0 is really fast enough. So somebody has um, to come up. We, we may be able to and do it. I and I think that a it. lot of people now is going to start coming up with a lot of these external um, GPUs to give people that don't want to upgrade new laptops all the time. Here you go. Just use this external GPU. I bet GPU. you they're going to make it like, oh, we don't support with your older model anymore. Oh, you have to buy another one of course, of course. but i think it's still it's gonna be a nice stop gap and i think this is gonna bring a lot of other people's into gaming pc gaming that felt that their laptop wasn't able to That's keep true. up with the current times they'll buy so, a cheap one at, they'll buy when they start off and then when they want to upgrade exactly. they can just buy the outside gpu i also like the origin all-in-one um gaming pc which is the cool stuff there yeah. was uh what's i think that was the the, the dopest thing there yeah that and it's not it. like a half-baked all in one no, computer. No. It was actually it's Titan X uh, GPU with uh, i7 swappable CPU. motherboards, yeah. swappable CPUs, swappable G GPUs, and all in one system. RAM. 30, I mean, it's it's a real gaming system. So check out the Origin yeah. All in One. I love that. Yeah, one. it was like a 34 inch wide ultra wide screen monitor. So, Ooh, oof, if I beautiful. didn't have my beautiful system I have right now, that would be the system for somebody who just want to get in PC gaming. You're like, I don't want to do a monitors. I want to do this. You just boom. Yep. If plop it down also plug if it you're in. like you just have a small apartment right a perfect solution right and they said it's gonna start selling it the qu first quarter of first this quarter year. this year and it starts off at two grand so which is not too but, bad but, but it's I'm origin sure. so you know you can go ahead and configure yeah, that to so make like jack up the price of like whatever, eight grand, but whatever but check it out we'll i think it's yeah. pretty bomb yeah that's a good one but i think it's some really great stuff in, in this ces i like but i also like that they have with some of the connected security stuff i like that they are going modular with some of the stuff because i saw that new um amazon alexis Mm -hmm. that can be your central hub for some security. So you can buy this security device, but you can plug it into Alexa and you can speak to the security mm -hmm. devices all using Alexa as your central point hub for everything. Yeah. And so and I, like they're using that Alexa or they're using like your cell phone. So devices that you already have as a central point of interface for your um, security systems. I like that. Yeah, I like well, that. I mean, I, I, I'm I, still like mixed feelings towards this whole automating your house. Right. It's kind of great because when you're outside and you're like, did I turn off the lights? You can check everything. Right. But at the same time, people can also hack into your system. Very true. So Very true. right now I'm just like, I don't know if I like it or hate it. I mean, we're tech people, so right. I'm really interested in it, but I want to see how easy it is to use. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it'll be kind of great. You know, you have all the cameras at home. Yep. You can check out what's going on. You can lock the door. You can. 
So, I mean, the whole connected thing is still up for debate. Yeah. But, um, so, but it's CES, so you know they're going to pump it out. But anyway, that's what we loved about this CES. Tell us what y'all liked about it in the comments below. What we looking forward to in 2016. 2016, this, this year. That's the year that we in right now. Mm -hmm. 13 days in 2016. So that's what? Still, that sounds like sci-fi to me. <laughs> 2016 <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> I just went to Toy Story. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to for 2016? Um, growing, uh, you know, more, more subscribers. And Punani. Just, yeah, and more Punani. More Punani. Yes, that, that too. And um, world peace, world peace. Oh my Lord have mercy, he said world <laughs> peace. Well, I said Punani, so you had to back it up and balance it out with saying world peace. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to a VR this year. Um, I'm looking forward to VR taking the next step as being a part of our gaming reality and not just a gimmick. I feel that a lot of the VR stuff coming out right now is moving into the gimmick thing. So hopefully that, I think that with Sony 35 million installed base of PS4s yeah, and, Sony also, VR. and also that even though the, um, the Oculus is $600, I still feel that for me, I thought that's lower than I thought it was gonna be. And it's gonna be a lot of people buying it. So I think with Oculus and Sony VR. I mean, there's another one too. Uh, yeah, there's lots of people yeah. out there, but I think those are the two that people are looking at right now. And I feel that if these can, these two can be successful, and they both said they're gonna have 100 titles each coming out um, huh? at release date. And I think that we can take it out of the gimmicky um, state that is there right now and, make it and work. take it as really part of our gaming yeah. conversation. I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, really Sony's been on a roll, so like I'm, I'm guessing Sony's gonna put that product. Oh yeah when it's ready. Like, I, I feel like they're not gonna mess it up, but yeah, hopefully the VR will work out. Yeah, so I'm really yeah. looking, for, looking forward to the VR. And I wanna watch porn. Oh, did you see some of the demos? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I, this is just a guy who is a guy online who's watching some VR porn and they're filming him and he, you can tell that he's getting into it a lot. He's like, oh, I wish it was nobody here because I really want to be naked right now with this. <laughs> and that's what any, but again, oh. any kind of technology we have, sex is what pushes that technology that to the next level. Yep. So I'm looking forward to that. We're a few dudes, so we can't help it, but Very yeah. true. Very interested in um, educational stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 2016 <laughs> looks like it's gonna be a great year. Yeah. There's a lot of great movies, movies coming out this year. A lot of good year. games. Uncharted 4. Oh my god, I can't wait. And Final Fantasy 7, the remake is supposed to come out at the end of this year too. So we got two Final Fantasies mm -hmm. coming out. Well, uh, Final Fantasy 15. Yep. That too. So. But the Final Fantasy 7 looks bomb. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't don't fuck don't it Don't milk it. Because I just I just saw your press release and with the, that was the horrible press release. That was the worst press release we I've ever seen. We can't fit in one game, so we're gonna divide it into multiple. Like, shut the fuck. Don't milk it, bro. 2016 yeah. is gonna be good. And we only just want to say, you know, everybody who's been watching us back in 2015. We just getting started. We got a lot of things we're learning, a lot of things we're growing. I feel that we we enjoy doing this. Yeah, we're having we a good time. That Hope you guys we are enjoy being enjoy together. together. We enjoy to um, enjoy doing being this. together. Well, not together. I got a woman other room, not Woo! together. But I, we, you know what I mean, fool. We, we I just I love doing this. Yeah, and this I couldn't and I, I couldn't ask for a better partner in doing this. And I look forward to us growing with you guys and getting feedback to what you didn't like and what we can do better yeah. and just growing our audience and growing our relationship with us. And so 2016 is looking for like a fun year for it's us. It's gonna be fun. It is. So. And it's my year, monkey year, so. Monkey motherfuckers! 2016. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all.